Hi everyone, this is Jared Bruning with the Daily Bell Ringer, and uh, this is a little bit different video uh, that I guess we kind of decided to make here. I guess I'll introduce this to him. This is, this is my brother, Jason Bruning. Older who, brother. Older brother, yes. Who is kind of the inspiration for a lot of why I'm into history and everything. We're both just big history nerds, kind of going back to our dad, taking us to historic sites, which I guess it's fitting we're here on Father's Day uh, at a historic site, kind of honoring the memory of our family, but also the memory of our dad taking us to a lot of historic sites. But I, I'm here actually, I'm redoing our my Shiloh uh, battle video. And if you watch that video or learn, know anything about Shiloh, you know that uh, when the Battle of Shiloh began on April 6, 1862, Confederates uh, attacked Union forces who were heading for Corinth, Mississippi. Uh, and so um, we're standing in, in a spot where the battle, kind of the early parts of the battle began, and kind of an interesting thing we've just recently learned is that actually we have family who served at, in in the battle itself at at Shiloh. Did you want to add anything? Yeah. So so this where we're at is the the, the campground for the 25th Missouri. And if you know the, the story of the Battle of Shiloh, because the Confederates come up that morning again, they they walked up from uh, or marched up, I should say, from Corinth, and it took them what three days because mm -hmm. you know, the rains and all this stuff had slowed them down. So a lot of these guys hadn't eaten in three days. So they show up, the, the 25th Missouri gotten up and started making their breakfast. The Confederates show up and you know a lot of them run. So now there's uneaten food mm -hmm. and it's fresh, it's warm. And so the Confederates stop and eat here. And of course, Johnston gets mad at them, but uh, you'll notice in the background here, the uh, Peabody Monument, because this is where uh, Colonel Everett Peabody uh, was shot and killed in this area uh, here at this camp uh, when the uh, Confederates overran it. But yes, uh, we did not know that we had a relative that was in the Union Army even. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew growing up we had a, a, a relative, uh, a great ancestor in uh, the Confederate that fought in what battle? Port Hudson. Port Hudson, yeah, Port yeah, Hudson. and he, he was in an artillery unit. He was only in one battle, and in Port Hudson was a big siege. Yeah, I believe the longest siege in U.S. military history. That's right, longest Hudson, siege in, in history. And, uh, and so he gets he gets uh, captured and gets paroled. So his war was over in one battle. Well, it was. Uh, can we mention Ancestry.com? Do we get? No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Do we get fees? Do we get? No. Oh, no okay. you, well, I, I anyway, with work through Ancestry.com, we discovered that our grandfather on our father's side was the grandson of Friedrich Bruning, who signed up with the Union Army, the 25th Missouri in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, in September of 1861. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing all sorts of research. In fact, I, I bought this off of Amazon. It's the official, what do they call it? The official records. You know, somebody that was involved wrote this 30 years after the, the war was over. It has the official record of the 25th Missouri. And our grandfather's name, or great, great grandfather's mm -hmm. name, is mentioned in here uh, in the index as being a participant. But we weren't quite sure. Yeah. So was he here? Yeah. So today we kind of came here and we're like, okay, well, we know he was part of the 25th Missouri, but we don't know for sure was he actually here when the fighting took place because there's kind of some differing histories of the 25th Missouri. And so we went to the visitor center, of course, and you know talked to the park ranger there. And it's kind of cool what the park ranger found for us. I guess you want to yeah, share. Yeah. Yeah. He printed up, and again, the National Park Service is fantastic. Printed up all sorts of stuff. Here is. Uh, Friedrich Bruning's pension papers uh, for him to collect his pension after after he was out of the military and all sorts of information about the 25th Missouri with Frederick Bruning's name attached and uh, and he was able to look up and you know because I had I had read different things that said possibly he was in New Madrid Missouri at this time mm -hmm. but he said nope your ancestor was here on April 6th and 7th 1862 so again it's cool to stand in a place knowing, hey, somebody we're related to was here. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine the fear they felt that morning when from that direction comes 9,000 Confederates. Uh, you know, that, that would be terrifying. And yeah, and, and one thing, you know, you may have heard me say in maybe some of my other videos, or, you know, I visited a few classrooms and talked about this. If you have the opportunity to go to historic site, go to historic sites. If there's some in your community or, or close by, or if you can take a field trip with school, hopefully, it, there's just something about standing on the actual ground where these things happen because for us right now we're looking around here and we're like hey we have a relative who literally was probably standing in the same exact point or at least somewhere close by in this close vicinity he slept on the ground in a, on, in a tent somewhere close to where we're at right now and he was involved in this you know 
historic event that took place in American history. And I realize, you know, you may look at yourself and be like, oh, well, I, have, I don't have relatives that were involved in, in American history. But I'm telling you, if you go back and look, you're going to find all kinds of amazing things that your ancestors were involved in that maybe you had no idea about. So I really encourage you, you know, go look online. There's all kinds of places where you can search. I mean, you, you could just get started with a simple Google search and search for, you know, maybe talk to some of your grandparents or, you know, an aunt or an uncle and find out the names of some people who maybe, you know, you never heard of, but that were your, some of your relatives and start looking them up and you'll probably find some really cool stuff that they did. And then hopefully you'll be able to visit some of the sites where maybe they were involved in some, you know, big historic events. Jared and I are also the descendants of William Dawes, who rode with Paul Revere in 1775. So we need to go do another bell ringer in, in Massachusetts. Yeah, somewhere. yeah, we. Yeah, I guess I didn't mention that. Yeah, because of course <laughs> you go back and you look at my my one about Paul Revere's ride. Of course, the video is titled Paul Revere's Ride, but also yeah, there was William Dawes who was also in, involved there. So again, it's remarkable when you actually start doing a little bit of digging and figure out you know that you have relatives that were involved in all these things. So again, you know. I appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully, you know, again, this is just a little addition that we are adding here. But go back and check out the Shiloh video. Go back and check out all the Civil War videos. Go back and check out the Paul Revere video uh, if you'd like. But um, again, get, if you get the chance, check out some of these historic sites. And so I guess with that, hopefully you learned something. And thanks for watching.